just got a pretty decent reverse engineering job. So I just spent a lot of time scanning a bunch of different parts. We ran into a little bit of an issue because we were scanning all different types of metal. Steel, aluminum, chrome plated, rusted, even black plastic. So we decided to go with a 3D scanning spray. Uh, but we were able to use a few different ones. We're going to show you what we liked about some, what we didn't like about some. It's probably not going to be the one that you pick every single time, but we'll at least let you know what we liked and the one we're going to start using going forward. These are the sprays that we tried out. We had a bunch of different parts, different uh, types of metal and everything. They all worked okay. Um, so we're going to go through, talk about the pros and cons, what we liked, what we didn't like about them, and then you can make the choice on what you want to buy. Uh, this one here, foot spray, it's definitely foot spray. Uh, it gets everywhere. We've still got some on the table. I don't think it's going to come off unless we actually wash it. Um, the other thing about this one, have you smelled foot spray? Your shop's going to smell like foot spray. Uh, so this one, if you can get past the smell, I'm not 100% sure how healthy that is to breathe in either. Uh, but we tried it, all right? So it worked okay. A uh, scanner was able to pick it up, uh, worked. This one also, it's easy to find, right? So it doesn't take a week like some of these other ones that you order online. You just go down to the drugstore, pick this one up. This one I think was about 9 or $10, so cheap. Uh, I was surprised though that it didn't go that far. I felt like by the time you buy, I don't know, three or four cans of this, you might as well jump up to one of the other ones and then you're kind of, you might as well use what you're supposed to use. But uh, it was kind of fun to try out. So if you want to go on the cheap end, you can try the foot spray. Uh, the next one we tried jumps up about another $10. So this one, this Vivid, uh, uh, what is it called? Vivid Model Scan Spray. Now this one's about, I think it was like $20, $21 a can. You'll notice it's a lot bigger than the other one, so you do get more in there. Uh, that was nice. The nozzles are not the best. They kept clogging up, felt like we had to, uh, kept having problems with that. So we just changed the nozzle, then it worked fine. Uh, this one says it's actually dental spray. It says extra oral. No clue what that means. I'm not even going to Google that, so I don't want to find out what it means. But it worked for the application that we were using it on. Uh, this one, like I said, it's a bigger can, so it went a long ways. The only other thing that I did not like about this, besides the nozzle, this one stayed on the parts. It doesn't evaporate. So we've got parts that we've had for about a week that I sprayed them a week ago. Uh, they've still got the stuff on there. So this one definitely sticks to it. If that's a problem, just something to keep in mind uh, that you're going to actually have to clean off those parts after you get through scanning it. The next one we jump up, uh, I'll be honest with you, I don't know how to pronounce this. I think they called it Atblime. I could be wrong. You can look it up online. Uh, it's a German company. They've actually got different types of spray. Uh, this one, it's called the AB6. Uh, didn't do a bad job at all. The can's a little bit smaller than some of these others, uh, which is a little surprising. The thing I didn't like about this one in particular, it just felt like it didn't go a long way. Um, we would spray it. It just didn't feel like it was attaching to the part real well. Maybe it was the type of product we were spraying it on. Maybe it was the metal we were using. I'm not 100% sure, but that's the results that we found in the shop. So this one, not bad. You go from about $21 here to about $32 a can on this one. Uh, I think it's pronounced A-sub, it's A-E-S-U-B. It does great works amazing but every time you spray this thing i felt like just money was flying out of my pocket as i was spraying it i felt like i wanted to be a little bit conservative in spraying it even though i didn't need to be um, this one jumps up to about 40 dollars a can so again this is the most expensive uh, but it does do very well the other thing that's cool about this one completely evaporates uh, so that's kind of helpful right you don't have to clean it up even if you get it on the table get it on other parts of course you're going to have some overspray uh, that's going to happen. So it just evaporates. Usually takes about four, maybe six hours, and then that one's gone. It's like you never sprayed it on there. It works really well. If, if you had to buy this yep. out of your pocket and use it, which one would you use? 
Oh man, probably this one. Even though it stays on the parts, clean it off, wipe it off, wipes off pretty easy for 20 something dollars. And it's the biggest can, I'd just stick with that one, makes it easy. Uh, from there, if I'm gonna go anything more expensive, I'd probably go ahead and just jump up to this one, use the right stuff, evaporates off, you don't have to worry about it. Thanks again for watching this video. Remember, if you're ever in a jam, you can always head up to CVS and get yourself some foot spray. Now, we love making these videos, particularly on 3D scanning. We've scanned hundreds of parts. Uh, we have hundreds more to scan, and so we are learning a lot about this. We've even designed some of our own uh, invisible markers uh, that are for sale on our website. So if you'd like to expedite your post-processing, definitely check these things out. They're completely invisible to the blue light scanner and other scanners. Uh, they have really sped us up. Uh, so we, again, we appreciate you watching. Uh, we look forward to making the next video, and we'll catch you next time.